Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyline.com. 1718 Panini status basketball break number three. Not this is this is not the break we're doing. Break three is the one we're doing right here. One, two, and three. That's the first half of a fresh case. It's our last case too. So that break four is our last one. A big thank you very much to well to Vic and Ryan and, and William and Lee and Josh and Ryan. But also to Daniel for buying a huge chunk of spots here. So if you hear his name a lot, you'll know the reason why. All right, let's randomize the names and the teams. Snake Eyes, two times. That's it. Easy. One and two. Bam. Jeff Goldenthal, down two. Bunch of Daniels after two times. All right, Snake Eyes, two times for the teams. One and two. Easy. I wish all the dice rolls were Snake Eyes. Kings, down two. Heat. I know some people don't like it. Some people are like, that's not good luck. It's too short. All right. All right, Jeff Goldendahl, Kings. Daniel, you got the, uh, well, Daniel, you got a lot. So let's read everybody else's. Jeff, you have the Kings. Ryan L., you have the Bucks. Josh with the Nuggets. Vic with the Warriors. Lee, you have the Bulls. Ryan Redman with your last spot, Mojo, Orlando Magic. And William with the Pistons. Daniel F, you have everything else. There you go. Let's alphabetize. Uh, are there going to be any trade? I guess if Daniel wants to trade, there may be some trades. Oh, okay. William wants his Blazers. Uh, Dan, if you're here, does that do anything for you, Daniel? All right, and while that's happening, actually, let's pop open the box. Let's see which uh, which ten boxes we're gonna do. Let's pull the camera back a little bit. It's our last case of status, so the last break is already in the store right now. What is this? This is only twenty bucks a spot, I think, folks. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah, twenty bucks a random team. It's a pretty friendly price point for um, for a solid rookie class. I think it's a, it's a fair price point for it matches the quality pretty well. I think. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's grab these boxes out of here. Oh, come on, Joe. Oh, these are all over the place. All right, salvaged. All right, there's 10 up front here. Actually, it'll be easier to do left and right. So there's 10 right here. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, ten. All right. And then ten back here. There we go. I got it. So ten on the left side, ten on the right side. And let's roll the die. I'll pick this one here. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the right side. And then this side, do I have a Sharpie? No, I never have a Sharpie, of course. All right, so I'll just kind of mark these with Wolverine scratches. Wolverine slash marks. Wolverine was here. Just so we know that they're from the same case. We'll break this next time. This is the side that we'll be doing. Remember, this is the 17-18 class, and I say this every basketball break because the products, as the basketball season goes on, the products will get better and better. And it'll be just totally worth getting into time and time again. But features a new draft class, features the a very deep draft class. And even he still still sells pretty well, even though he's been injured. Slow start for him, but there's a lot of other rookies that have been playing fantastic, fantastic hoop. All right, I don't see Daniel in the room, William, so I apologize. I think we're just gonna have to get a move on.
trade window closed. Remember, we can find one autograph per box on average is what we're looking for. All right, after this will be Nobility Soccer. That's another break Daniel helped uh, fill up. So let's get, let's get a quick schedule here going. All right, there you go. So status basketball will happen now, obviously. Um, then nobility soccer, that's like a 10 minute, excuse me, that's a 10 minute break. And then after that, we'll have about an hour left in the broadcast. So I don't know what we can do in that last hour. We seem to be a little far away from a lot of other breaks, but this would be a perfect time to try to maybe get some uh, trilogy going. Maybe some Trilogy Hockey. That's only 11 spots left. We can do that. I can post another Nobility Soccer after this break. We can try to do one more of those. It might be a little late for some of the other breaks. Might be a little late, but hey, listen, we, we have tomorrow together, so we can try that tomorrow. All right. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a decent amount of base cards in here. We have, does it say? Where does it say? Doesn't say, well, well, I'll open it up, Brandon, <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, yeah, it does have a decent amount of base cards. Um, it, this will, uh, no, no vet base and stuff like this, but I kind of like the design of this. I think this is the first, this is the debut release. I think the, this is the first year they're doing it. It seems less, um, it seems less cluttery than Revolution Basketball. I mean, it's a little bit of a, a little bit pricier than Revolution Basketball, I think. But I kind of like the design. I like the direction they kind of went with here. There's like a clean geometric look to it. It almost looks like one of those, uh, was it Escher paintings, I think? Where like the stairs go into stairs. You know, or like that game Monument Valley. If anyone plays that on their on their telephones telephones um, so here Brandon see looks like this back looks like that so I'm not gonna show you the backs but it's a nice clean look I think all right so you got nice clean inserts here too let me move the camera angle a little bit so it's pretty cool stuff rookie credentials Jonathan Isaac there's Damian Lillard I think the numbers are on front but it's a nice clean look I mean, I, I could see this. There's Tyler Lydon. So there are your hits. Rookie Essentials. And that goes to the Denver Nuggets. That'll be for Josh Schmidt. I think some of these can be number two. I think they call, they're called Factions. We got 10 out of 75, Clay Thompson. So those are what the parallels look like. Points, uh, any and all points will be combined as one. There's John Havlicek, nice Ben Simmons, and Miles Turner on the back. Oh yeah, now I remember these now. But yeah, they got a nice clean look. I like it. For 20 bucks a spot, it's a, it's a nice price point too to try to pull some uh, nice parallels and whatnot. LeBron James in there too. Lonzo Ball out of uh, 999. Lonzo Ball rookie card. Jared Allen for the Nets, nice LeBron James. Brooke Lopez having a decent season. And LeBron again out of 149. Nice. And Damian Dotson. Oh, the points. I was like, where's the auto? Is the points made up for the auto? Yeah, I do too. I think there's there's a... Uh, yeah, it's not super busy. Like, Revolution seems a little too busy for me. Just an, on, on a personal note. 
But this is a little bit cleaner. Kind of a, there's sort of a black and white look that I kind of like. You know, it's pretty, I guess. It's like, all, it's all refractory, so it looks even better. Like if you get any of these, it'll probably look a lot nicer in like the sunlight. The font, there's like some sort of like almost sort of Greek or Egyptian hieroglyphic style kind of kind of font. So, yeah. But it's really nice. Like I could see, this is a debut release. I could see something like this, you know, maybe if they, if this product does well, I could see them trimming down the product a little bit. Fewer packs, more cards kind of thing. You know, bigger hits, but using the same style of design, make it a higher end product. That's what they did with Spectra. Uh, if you look at like 2013 Spectra Football, for example, you know, there were like these big fat boxes and like five or six mini boxes inside the fat boxes. And there were base cards and thin cards and thick cards and all, all the different sizes and everything. You know, it's okay. I mean, there's some nice hits in there, but, but uh, I mean, it, it has that, pro that product has definitely come a long way in terms of design. I could see something like that happening with this too. All right, good luck everyone. Next box, Dwayne Bacon. Are these numbered? No, this one's not numbered, I think. Some of these are numbered. And we've got Dave Cohen's old school Celtic, 20 out of 199. Legendary signatures for the Boston Celtics. Oppo Joe Mojo for Daniel F. There's Steph Curry. He's playing right now. How, how are the... Uh, How's this game going here? Do I not have this game up? The glare from my photo lights block out the score. 90-84 uh, towards the end of the third quarter. Trailblazers have the lead. There's DeAndre Jordan, 299. Surprised that he was not traded. Status quo, John Stockton. Poor Porzingis. And Bede's having a great season. There's Bam Adebayo. Zach Levine, 7 out of 10. Nice one for the Bulls. That goes to Lee. Lee Cheeseman and the Bulls. Nice low number. Always good to have the low numbers in these sets. There's Sundarius Thornwell. Nice next box. I think Contenders Basketball is coming out soon, folks. End of this month or end of March, maybe. Somewhere around here, but very soon. I think Contenders Basketball is coming out. That should be that should be a very hot product. So if you're basketball fans, get into it. Um, speaking of basketball, just a quick look at the Eastern Conference. The Raptors are number one in the East. They've been playing fantastic basketball. Uh, they changed their – the big – I think everyone has kind of heard this by now if you've been watching basketball – they have started to, they have changed the team around, the way they're coached, the way they're playing, you know, but with the same personnel. And it, it, is, it is made wonders, playing faster basketball, shooting more outside shots. They're 41 and 16, and they're looking great. They're nine of their last, uh, they've won nine of their last 10 games. They're on a seven game winning streak. Celtics are right behind them. They're on a three game losing streak, but they're 40 and 19 leading up to the break. Uh, Cavs rejuvenated by the trade. They're 34 and 22. They're in third. Wizards are right behind them. So are the Bucks. Then Pacers. Sixers. Rising Sixers are 30 and 25. They're playing awesome basketball. Miami Heat are right behind them. Pistons are the uh, team outside looking in. And then Charlotte Hornets are a little distant, kind of behind on that. So the East has actually been looking, uh, has actually been looking pretty good. 
We've got Yabuselli, another Celtic. Another Celtic for Daniel. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. Freshman signatures. There's Josh Jackson for the Suns. And he's starting to, to play a little bit better, at least on the offensive side of the ball. Steph Curry out of 299. Dennis Smith Jr., rookie card. He might win rookie of the year, actually. What's difficult is there's rookie credentials. I think why I'm slower on this break is that like I think the numbering is up there and the names are down there. It shifts my eye a little too much, but those are those are first world breaker problems. Jeff Hornacek, Anawobi, Julius Randle, and we've got a relic, Tony Bradley for the Jazz. Nice rookie essentials. Brandon saying OKC needs to, needs to get their junk together. They do. Utah Jazz, that'll be for Daniel. Yeah, I don't know if... I don't know if getting Carmelo was maybe the best idea in retrospect. Kevin Durant out of 199. I, th I think it sounded good at the time. You know, that maybe... I like the I like the Thunder coach, right? I forgot his name. Oh, Donovan or something like that? I think he's pretty good. But sometimes you can put a, put a bunch of players together and it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. You know, I think the I think the thought was, I think the thought was, yeah, even even aside from Carmelo's sort of inefficiency and his uh, his inefficiency in his like you know defense, you know you thought that maybe just a better team around him would would just naturally help him get better. I think he's he's playing okay. You know what I mean? He's still getting like twenty some odd minutes a game, if not a little bit more. I mean, Paul George is doing great. You know, and and Westbrook is doing great, but it just hasn't quite clicked at times. I think that there's like there's some, something that's not quite there. And I'll bet you the Cavs will probably run run into this problem too with all those new players on the Cavs. They just not quite click at certain times. There'll, there'll still be some growing pains, even though it's, it's looked good thus far. Um. Rockets and the Warriors are tied at the top. And then 10 games behind those guys, behind the Rockets and the Warriors. Are then, then there's the Spurs, and Timberwolves are kind of packed in together. Uh, OKC is still fifth, still fifth seed um, right now at the moment. Nuggets are right behind them. So are the Pelicans. Trailblazers are in the eighth seed right now. Nuggets, tra Pelicans, and Trailblazers are tied at 6, 7, and 8. Clippers are a half game out of a playoff spot. Um, and it looks like the Jazz are one and a half games and then after that, the, it, it just falls off. Then it's my Lakers with 23 wins, but they're like seven, seven games behind uh, eight seed. I don't, that's not going to happen. Although I, I like the improvement the Lakers have made this season. My Lakers, easier to watch, easier on the eyes. And I think having Isaiah Thomas for the rest of the season um, should not definitely make it a fun end to the season. It's Avery Bradley. So I don't mind it at all. We'll collect those points together. That's winner take all on the points. There we go. They're, they're a trio of rockets right there. Getting Chris Paul was huge. Ryan Anderson is solid. And James Harden has definitely, over the last few years, especially when Mike D'Antoni, I feel like Mike D'Antoni really unlocked that team. I mean, James Harden being there certainly helped. But Mike D'Antoni really unlocked... The, the, the speed and potential of that team. There's Kyle Kuzma. He's been a revelation for my Lakers. There's Dwayne Wade back on the heat now. There's Josh Jackson. And there's one of the big rookies this year, Donovan Mitchell, rookie essentials relic. That goes to Daniel and the Jazz. Yeah, well, next year could be big. I mean... The Lakers are going to have a lot of new pieces too. That's the, that's the problem. Uh, they're not going to re, they're not going to re-sign Isaiah Thomas. He's he's going to try to get big money elsewhere. Brooke Lopez is a free agent too. There's a lot of expiring contracts. 
And what do you do with Julius Randle? You know, do you do you pay him? You know, do you pay this guy? This guy is out probably unless he comes back for cheap. This guy, you're wondering if you pay him or not. They didn't trade him, which is surprising. And Lonzo Ball is going to be part of that core with uh, Kuzma and Josh Hart, guys like that. Brandon Ingram, of course, they'll, they'll form that young core. But then the Lakers are banking on two, max, two big max free agents in the next year or two. That's the big thing for the Lakers. That's what everyone's talking about. This year or next year. So some, com some combination of two of the following, LeBron James, Paul George, uh, and then the next year will be Klay Thompson. Uh, I think Kawhi Leonard might be a free agent too. So some combination of that. Maybe Paul George if he opts out. Although I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's going to. Um, so yeah, so if in the next two years, that's the Lakers plan. Draft well, which they have. Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Josh Hart. Yeah, I like Kuzma a lot too. He's been great. Um, so they have that. They drafted well. Now they just got to try to get a big free agent or two. And then hopefully draft well again with the Cavs' late first round pick, which we, which we got for uh, sending Larry Nance and Jordan Clarkson out there. Cross your fingers and go again. And then tra try to draft well again and try to get another max free agent or two the following season, especially if they miss out this season. And then that's it. And then. And then Magic Johnson and, and Rob Palinka GM will be like, ta-da, <laughs> you're Lakers. So work in, pro in, in, in progress for the next two seasons, I think. But it's exciting, though. I mean, we're finally starting to see. It's like how I feel in my Raiders. Like the, uh, it's starting to turn a corner, which is good. There's Kyle Kuzma who's been balling out. Like even these, I'm pulling these rookie cards, folks, or those specifically because those are the big players. And even like De'Aaron Fox, um, those are like the big players that still gained a decent amount of money. When this product came out, I feel like that Ben Simmons card still sold for like five bucks. So that's why we're pulling these. Basketball is unique in the sense that even those base cards, a seemingly high number of parallels will still do well, which is why it's cool. There's Eric Bledsoe, uh, Bucks edition. Oh, so they updated some of this set too. Josh Jackson for the Suns. Big name. Reggie Miller, one of my favorite favorite non-Lager players. Reggie Miller and uh, AI. Out of 299, Avery Bradley. Tony Bradley, the Bradleys. There's Josh Hart. OKC GM said PG is untouchable. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to move him either. But yeah, he may not have a he may not have a choice after if he opts out. Lou Kennard surprisingly didn't get traded. I thought he might have been a trade candidate. TJ Leaf for the Pacers, former UCLA guy, played alongside Lonzo Ball. Um, I was surprised. Someone told me a couple of months ago that TJ Leaf stuff was actually selling decently. Uh, this goes to Daniel. Was selling decently on the secondary market. And I was like, really? I don't, I don't think he's been playing that many minutes. And they're like, I don't know. He's, he's, he's doing well. which I thought was surprising. All right, we're halfway through this half case break. We've got five more boxes to go. We're making good time, making good time. We've got a quick nobility soccer break after this. And after that, nothing else is filled up, folks. So we'll be done with this break in about another 15, 20 minutes. And then um, we'll do nobility soccer, and then we'll see what happens after that. All right, TJ Leaf autograph. All right, next five boxes. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I don't think Paul George even knows what he's gonna do. I don't think LeBron knows what he's gonna do on the. Everyone just assumes they're gonna opt out or 
or everyone has their theories on, theories on why they're an opt out or not opt out. But at the end of the day, I don't think they're. Uh, I don't think they're going to go anywhere. I think I think LeBron will end up staying, and I think uh, I think PG thirteen might end up staying. I think LeBron ends up staying for another year. That's why, or he opts out and he'll re-sign with the Cleveland for another two years, but then another one year opt out. So it'll be that circus all over again. PG thirteen. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna know if he knows. You know, still has half the season to kind of see how he feels. Oh, their ears were burning, Brandon. See, they're like, you guys are talking about us. We heard you. <laughs> so we'll see what happens to those guys. Bradley Beal. Oh, I thought it was going to be an autograph out of 299. Bradley Beal's been playing well. John Stockton. Knicks still still have some work they need to do. Kuzma, Westbrook. See, I don't know why they, they flip these around. Just to troll me. Just to troll me. Jordan Clarkson. Is this an autograph? It's not. No. This is the autograph. Oh, Markel Fultz. 115 out of 149 for Daniel and the Sixers. Nice. Daniel got a lot of spots, ended up with the Sixers, ended up with his Markel Fultz freshman signatures. This will pay for some spots, for sure. That'll cover some spots. Remember this, do you guys hear this story? About how Markel Fultz, after the draft or something like that, Decided to change his shot? I thought that was weird. Like some, some like trainer or something like that had convinced him to, to change his shot. And now his shot is all messed up. And now his mind is all, he's got his mind all twisted. You know, he doesn't know that that's out of 199, the Reggie Jackson. There's Lonzo Ball rookie card. So now his head's all twisted. He doesn't know, he doesn't know which way to go, which way to shoot. Like, why would you do that? Shot was working fine. That's what got you drafted that eye. Right? Looking at the yeah, looking at that Oklahoma City factions card, Brandon's like saying, hey, you'd think that it'd possibly be one or two in the West. Corey is a Sixers fan and he's pissed about tell me how you feel, Corey. He is pissed about whoever who was it? Like some random trainer, right? Like a buddy of his or something like that? You know, I, I think it's someone with some some credential, but he changed his shot. That's what I've been hearing. Like it's it's just so it's just off. Now his head's all twisted. He's got to redo that trot. Lonzo Ball had the common decency not to fix that ugly shot. <laughs> and I actually think Fultz had a decent shot in college, from from what I'm mistaken. But I don't know the exact details, but. All I know is that is that Fultz, Fultz Fultzed around with his shot, and now he and he there's some injuries too, but you can't blame him for that. But um, but he just hasn't been as effective as as they hoped he would be. Not that it. I mean, listen, the Sixers are playing pretty good basketball, so I don't know. Uh, people think who's lying, Corey? Sorry, Corey's saying people think they're lying, but I can't think of a reason why. He says. People are saying that his shot didn't change. I think regular basketball people, like pundits, have said that the shot has definitely changed from college to now, and that's the problem. Why his his buckets aren't that great. Oh, people think the Sixers made it all up? That Fultz is just a bust? Oh, well, I see. Huh. I, don't, I haven't heard that, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if people are saying that, but I've not heard that narrative. Oh, we've got Zoo Key out of 149 for the Rockets. Does this guy get minutes? But there he is, freshman signatures for the Rockets. That'll go to Daniel. There's Kawhi. 
Ben Simmons. Got a die cut in here. Laurie Markkinen has been playing good ball too. Good hoops. I thought I heard some uh, some actual like basketball pundits say that hey yeah the shot it's different from from what they saw in college and what they see now. Nice Donovan Mitchell rookie card. Jordan Bell. Watching the Trailblazers game right now. These guys have been playing pretty well, this trio. Thomas Bryant may actually be somebody. There's Blake Griffin to 299. Giannis Antetokounmpo balling out. Factions for the Lakers. DJ Wilson. Draymond. Dan Smith Jr. I like what he's been doing. That's out of 299. Frank Nilakina. Uh oh, Williams got me on the on the zoo key. About five games. Oh, 14 games, about five five minutes total or five minutes per game. Does he have potential? I mean, they, they're playing him a little bit, so. Okay, so they're saying the Fultz had a shoulder injury too, but didn't say how it happened. So they, well, the Sixers really have nothing to hide. It's not like they're playing bad basketball. They're in a playoff spot. Ben Simmons is balling out. They seem to be managing Joel Embiid and his injuries okay. They rarely play him in a back-to-back, -back, which is a smart play. Okay, so five, okay, five minutes per game. This guy becomes a decent player with the Asian market. Blow up. That, that card. People people have to remember back in the Yao Ming days how well those cards sold. Huh, interesting. Well, yeah, I, I don't see any reason for the Sixers to hide anything, though. It's not like they have a, it's not like they have a bad season going on. They have a great season happening. You know, just be like, hey, listen. Some dude effed with his shot. Now it's weird. Now we're trying to get it back to normal. But don't worry. We're doing fine without Markel Fultz. We got this guy named Ben Simmons who's playing incredible ball. You know, we're managing Joel Embiid perfectly. You know, and, uh, you know, we've got, uh, what, JD, JJ Redick. is a great free agent addition. He's been playing great. Dario Saric. Remember how last year, I think Saric was a rookie last year. It was like Sarge, Sarge, more you know, garbage. People would say, or as Joe P would say, garbage, garbage. No, Sarge is playing great ball, and actually fills in nicely when uh, when they give and beat his regular rest. Or that because there's fewer back-to-back -back games this year, but but whenever Embiid gets his regular rest, Sarge has been playing pretty well, and still and still get puts up points and minutes. When they're all playing together, too. So, man, they're doing a good job. There's Lori marking it. There he is. Fultz was hearing, up, was listening to us talking about him. Uh, 299. There's Harry Giles. Rookie call ups. Thomas Bryant. There's Dwayne Wade to 99. I know you guys are all sick of hearing about LeBron James. You know, I know national media, this sports media right here, we don't talk about it that much. But national sports media talking about talking about it. LeBron James to the Heat. There's Ante Zizic for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Speaking of Cleveland, that goes to Daniel. But that's a possibility. Dwayne Wade's back there. The Heat actually look pretty good right they've been quietly playing good hoop or maybe he stays with Rodney Hood in Cleveland Donovan Mitchell Devin Booker who won't be back until after the all-star break I think all right Two boxes to go, folks. Good luck.
Yeah, I think we're just about five or ten minutes away from finishing up this break. I don't see any other orders coming in. So after we do uh, Nobility Soccer, which just takes about ten minutes, we're going to need something else to do. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We had a pretty busy day today. Good luck, everyone. Last two boxes. Always nice to have a longer basketball break because we usually don't get too much time to, to sit and chit chat a little bit about hoops. It's good to get some hoops talk in. How are the uh how are we doing here in the Timberwolves, Timberwolves, in the uh, Portland game? Five, about five minutes left. Trailers are up 109 to 101. I think, uh, I think my, my three-team teaser is going to be okay. I got, a, I got a lot of points in the teaser, so I feel pretty good about it. I think the, I think the trailers are already like plus seven or something like that. You know what? I'm just gonna open up that second, that last box too. Ah, Brandon says he misses the early uh, 2000s, uh, the early 2000s Lakers. Rick Fox, Derek Fisher, Peyton, Shaq, Kobe. Those are some good. Those are some good years. I think the Gary Payton years were a little bit after, were a little bit after that. I think. No, maybe not. Because there was the there was the Shaq Kobe championship runs, then I think in the middle was like the weird Gary Payton Carl Malone years, and then they got Pau Gasol and they won another three or something like another two or three. Um, but yeah, I, uh, Rick Fox uh, is doing well. I think he does a lot of TV now. Uh, Rick Fox does a lot of stuff for the uh, for the Lakers basketball network, among other things. He's got a face for TV, so he's, he's out there a lot. Uh, Derek Fisher also does stuff with uh, also does stuff with TV, I think. But I think Derek Fisher also is like, um, he's with, whose wife is he with? Or whose ex-wife is he with? They've, there's, there's some, there is some mad beef happening between Derek Fisher and... I forget. Am I blanking on his name? Someone's gonna remember. Someone in the chat will tell me. But anyhow, there's some weird beef happening, having there. Derek Fisher, I think he he's like DUI recently too. There's a lot of weird things going on with Derek Fisher. I think he's trying to capture his, his capture his younger days. Um, Tony Bradley, out of 149, new breed autograph for Daniel and the Jazz. But yeah, Rick Fox is a good dude from what I hear. A lot of people say Rick Fox is, is a legit, like a legit nice dude. Yeah, Matt Barnes, William. Perfect, yes, Matt Barnes. DJ Wilson, rookie credentials. Yeah, there's some weird, like look that up. Look Derek Fisher up and Matt Barnes. Google that at home, kids. Some interesting things going on there. There's Andrew Wiggins to 75. Kobe. Ah, Abner was saying he likes this era right here. This is a good era. Uh, my uh, my parents, my my mom especially, who doesn't really watch a lot of sports, not really a sports gal, uh, aside from like the Winter Olympics, um, uh, was uh, like was living in L.A. during the '80s, and I think even my mom will will reminisce about those days. Because it just kind of hooked everybody. That's how that's how much energy that team had. They were legit too. George Hill out of 199. Josh Hart rookie card. Frank Jackson. And the last box right here, folks. Uh, there's Justin Pat to 199. Josh Hart, rookie credentials. Even older Lakers right here. F 
Frank Mason, Julius Irving, Ben Simmons. Still have not seen the autograph out of here, the last auto. There's Derek Rose to 149. Is it right here? Is it this? Lakers? Michael Cooper! Oh, Coop! Everyone loves Michael Cooper out here in L.A. Lakers, that goes to Daniel F. Talking about Old C. Abner. Chris, you, you spoke this into existence. Old school Lakers. All that old school Laker talk brought out the spirit of, of Michael Cooper from this box. There's Dennis Smith Jr., and that should be it, folks. There's Pau Gasol to 299. Unless there's a surprise autograph hiding in here somewhere, like a one of one. Chris Paul, Manu Ginobili is out of 199. And Boyan, Bogdan at the end right there. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice finish. I'll top load, I'll sleeve and top load all of these. They'll get that before they're shipped out. Winner take all on the points. Nothing else to randomize. Good luck, everybody. Let's go back to the names. Let's get a clean list here. We've got new dice. Let's get everyone's names. Odds are with Daniel, but let's see. Winner take all on the points. Rolling the dice. Full 12 times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. Name on top after 12 times. He had the odds. He gets the points. Congrats to Daniel. Nice break for you. Some nice autographs and that fulls too. Thanks very much, everyone. That was Status Basketball. The second half and the last break of Status Basketball is in the store right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. So go and check it out. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.